Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back, back to, to Five Minute Eats. All right guys, today we have a Costco staple for you. This is the Costco Kirkland Signature Chicken Pot Pie with rotisserie chicken. It is a freaking behemoth. And this thing is sold by the pound. Ours was $22.58, but it's massive. This is a long time coming because we've been talking about this for what, like the past year? Yeah. About reviewing this. Mm -hmm. And the price always kept us at bay. Yep. But finally, for the holidays, we decided to go with it. And here we are. And this thing, it's just full of chicken. Yes. Just a lot of it. It's a lot, a lot of chicken. And here's the thing. Whenever I cut into like a, a pie slice of it and looked at the inside, it seemed like they just heaped all of our chicken on top and all of the gravy and veggies is on the bottom. So I'm curious to see how that's gonna turn out. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review everyday grocery items. So before you spend your hard earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Let's give this a go. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. Hey guys, welcome back, our rating system. Thumbs up, we buy it again. Thumbs down, we would not. So for me, this is Sadly, a huge thumbs down. This, there's a lot to like here. I like the gravy. I love the chicken in this. I love the vegetables, but there's just way too much chicken in this. Not enough gravy. It just kills it. Okay, just that, right? Just okay. that alone. Okay. But then when you get to the crust, hmm. I like the texture of the crust. I don't like how it tastes because something's off about it. Um, it's not salty, but I was wondering, like it's, it tasted like some other type of powder. And I was trying to figure out what it is. I don't know, but every time I took a bite, it was just nasty. Was it baking soda, baking powder or was something like that? Flour? Yeah, it wasn't really like a flour taste, you know? Just something off about the crust, did not like it. It's a shame. I think they need to tone down the amount of chicken that's in this and put more gravy in this. Thumbs down. Wow. Okay, so for me, this one is going to be a thumbs down. And I hate saying that because I'm with you. There's a lot to love here, but I'm gonna preface my review from here on by saying, I know your Costco makes it a million times better, but this is the problem, is that if you're paying for a Costco membership and you go in and you want to buy one of the take and bakes, it should be the same across the board. Like clearly there's a recipe to be followed here. So we've always encountered that our local Costco will like over salt a lot of things. And then other people, they don't have that issue. So I don't understand why the recipe isn't followed or why it differs. Now this is not overly salty, but I just do not love how much freaking chicken there is and no gravy. Like there's, there's a little bit and what's there tastes great. I love the gravy. I think the chicken is pretty good, but it's dry chicken because there's just no gravy covering it. I just find that to be really strange. So if your Costco makes it really awesome and has gravy covering the whole thing, I wanna know why there's a difference there then, you know, cause it should be done the same way across the board. This though, I think it's a good value. I think that the, the portion that you get is good for the amount of money that you spend. It's good quality ingredients. The, the carrots, everything was cooked properly. Nothing was really bad about it. And I actually really liked the crust. I thought the crust tasted very buttery. Um, so I didn't have the same issue, but maybe I just didn't pick up on it like you did. But the mere fact that the whole top half of it is just dry chicken is really a shame because I wouldn't want to serve this as like, you know, to guests if I'm entertaining. If I would to buy this and it was just for us, like our family, I would have to put more gravy on it and I wouldn't want to do that for guests because then it looks strange, you know? So I think that they really dropped the ball on it. To sum it up, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means 
we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.